So Mo was asking me what I want to eat today. She asked me yesterday, and I told her there's this dish with those thin sliced bamboo shoots, right? Mm -hmm. We're requesting it. Yeah, with fresh coconut milk, right? That's right. So we're going up to the market right now to get the bamboo shoots, and then what are you gonna do for the coconut milk? Coconut milk. I'm just gonna let Marvin do it. The coconut milk. So coconut. you're gonna. Have him go up here up one of our trees. Yes. Get the coconut. Get coconut in our trees or over there with that trees. So we're gonna get bamboo shoot bamboo and what else? And some vegetables, of course, that you mix to the bamboo shoot. So you said you were gonna add crab in that. Yes, Marvin had a give me a small crab today. So oh, so you already got them? Yes, only a few. Oh, he caught just a few out here last night. So we're gonna have fresh crab caught in her brother's traps. These are the little small crabs now that's going in here. They're not great big old steamers or something, you know. And, uh, man, this just sounds good. What else is gonna go in there? Uh, corn, of course, you should need to... You're gonna put corn? Put a little corn to make that, you know, like a aroma, you know. Are you putting that white corn? Yes, white corn. Oh, that Either. stuff's so hard like chewing rubber <laughs> yeah every day here every day these palms fall off these coconut trees of course the tree's growing and as it grows it sheds the bottom ones off that's just part of the process it's like these trees you see it's got rings around it rings 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 and each one of those rings is where the palms used to be attached so uh, every day it's a process here to pick those up off the fence. That's another thing I had to think about. I bought all these landscaping lots to put along these coconut trees. And then one day her brother mentioned, said, bro, you put those lights, the coconuts are going to fall on them and smash them. Or the palms are going to fall on them and break them. And I'm like, oh man, I didn't even think about that. So now I may have to make like a cement enclosure around it and the light down in there to protect it from falling coconuts. And it's funny, we've even, that fence, we've had coconuts to fall. It's already split some of that. <laughs> yeah, we've had, we've had coconuts to fall and stab right on top of those. And there would be a coconut stabbed straight down on the fence. It's kind of funny. Some area that it's already split. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna head up here to the market. It's raining. I don't have no crew working the day. There's another storm in the region. I have just stopped on this tank while the rain's here. Plus let it cure just a little bit. It's poured up to the top. We can just actually pull these forms off now. We're ready to uh, form up the pour the lid on top in there actually. So. So we got it together, and as uh, soon as this next little cell here passes, we'll get back over here on that. Meanwhile, most important thing to me is the barbecue. Boy, there's a lot of water in here today. It really rained. So beautiful here. Let's look at this. So beautiful. And after the storms, the Maloon guy's starting to put back out. Look at that. All the trees are starting to put new leaves after all that salt. Look at this Maloon guy here. Man, it is really getting with it. Oh, this one at the Maloon guy here. This is, uh, hey, which tree is this? This one. It sure is, man. The leaves are just so much bigger on this one. I had to kind of, I had to kind of get a second look because the leaves are big on this one. Man, this thing is super growing. Look at this. I mean, it is, it is really putting out. Look at that. These are such resilient trees. But this one, we need to chop this. Wow, what is this one? It is a fruit tree, but they're gonna get a little bigger, you know, and like even that big. What fruit? 
you know that uh, we call like an apple, you know, I don't know what it is, Atis, we call that one Atis here, like an apple. Yeah. But anyway. Well, it's in kind of a bad place. But anyway, even my dad told me that if it's going to be a big one, it's going to destroy it's the... It's going to break my fence. Uh, yeah, that's what I told in some videos one day about them uh, just randomly planning here and not thinking ahead. Just like I even her dad said, this tree here will get big and it's going to end up breaking my fence. The roots will be so strong. So that tree's got to go. The family's got good intentions. They do. They want to help and they're excited. There's some soil to plant some trees and things to harvest from, but it's got to be uh, really planned. You gotta think it out. But I appreciate their their effort, though. Don't get me wrong. Well, I'm gonna jump in the truck here, and we're gonna get to the market. I know I talk a lot about this little Toyota Hilux Surf here. Well, I want to tell you something. I love this little vehicle. It's almost like owning a Jeep, which is a great thing to own in a tropical country. That's why I think Jeeps are so popular here. Very, very popular here. It's kind of like owning a Jeep. You want a vehicle a little rugged. Yeah, there's a lot of cars here, but we don't live in the city. And some of these roads and highways, they're rough and they're hard on a vehicle. But, Another thing for me is, if you don't know it, you uh, subscribers in other countries that aren't here, or maybe you're looking at coming here, or maybe just our homesteaders back home and our follow us and all, vehicles are expensive here. Now, I'm talking about they are high. You may price a brand new little truck and say, oh, well, that's about comparable to a vehicle back home. No. It's not because these are a okay let's just take for instance let's say uh, a Ford Ranger pickup that new Ranger they're introducing in the US they haven't went away over here they only went away in the US they didn't go away over here they're really built by Mazda let's just be real they're just built by Mazda like always even the new one built by Mazda and those trucks here are kind of plain James, okay? They're kind of bare bones compared to what we have in the U.S. and other Western nations. Not so many gadgets and features, or even if they do have a gadget, it's more simplified. So you're not getting dollar for dollar value of what you get out of a vehicle in the U.S. or Western nation versus what you get here for a new vehicle. But you are paying a premium and to import a vehicle to this country, first of all, you're really risking it ever being released. You may not ever get that vehicle released to you. You may just kiss it goodbye. You may spend all that money getting it in a container in here and, and kiss it goodbye because they're gonna hit you for duties and values and the duties are massive pretty much take whatever that vehicle costs and hit times two because you're going to pay the cost of the vehicle and you're going to pay equal by their book values and duties and other fees man they're just going to have fees 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 the people that do it it's really nonsense because another thing is is when that vehicle breaks where are you going to get the parts uh, there's no O'Reilly's there's no uh you know all these places we have back home you know napa and all these different ones we don't have that we got mom and pop stores and they're not computerized they don't know interchangeability much you got to bring a part to them and they try to match it with something and they know the parts for the little nissans and mishibishis and some of the toyotas and uh mazdas and and things like that they know those parts here but you go bringing in a foreign vehicle or even a foreign made uh, a model that came from another country of even a Toyota for instance good luck on getting that part uh, over here at JoJo's Garage right now 
um, Antiques Power Company has got a uh, big international sitting over there. They need a clutch put in. Well, that truck was imported here for the power company. It was a utility truck in the U.S. before. And uh, they can't get the parts. I was, I'm trying to help him find a shipper right now that the parts can be imported from the U.S. And that takes time and it's expensive. So, I love my little Toyota Hilux Surf here. I've got all the features of an SUV. I can leave my stuff in the back when we go inside somewhere. It's dry. It's locked up. Nobody walks away with my things. I can pick up. You got to start trying to shove everything in the cab or keep somebody with the vehicle. Now we have the extra space. We can lay it down. We can haul inside. We've got, you know, it's older, but it's got everything. Power windows and sunroof and you know, air conditioning. I put an updated flat screen um, Sony stereo system in here and it already had premium sound that came in this thing. And this little ride right here, it gets unbelievable fuel mileage. I'm in a jacked up four by four big old tires on it and I'm getting almost triple the fuel mileage that I do out of my Toyota Tundra 4x4 back in the US. So tell me that ain't pretty awesome also. So I want to show you some of the rice fields right here by the house. So nice. I never get to show you these beautiful things but check out the beautiful rice fields right here by the house. So nice, look at that. So we're noticing there's huge additions going on here to the high school, more classrooms. Shows that the population is growing. Yep, man, look at that. So Mel and I, we were going to go to the market and then we just turned off on another road and then we just kept going and turned on another road and now we decided that we're not even going to our market. We're just enjoying this nice air, this beautiful scenery, nothing but banana plants as we're going by right now. We decided just to cruise. Got the sunroof. Wind is down. Just go the flow. Yeah, man, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Especially it's raining. This month, you can see everything is green. So here's a cattle trailer. A little different than our cattle trailers, huh? Yeah, we were driving out here and ran across a livestock barn here. Leon Livestock. Let me show that there. Leon Livestock. So we were driving down the road here 
And you know me, I can smell cow because I'm a cowboy, I'm a rancher. Yeah, my nose picked it up. And what do I find? Cattle, livestock, Leon livestock. Yeah, check out the cattle trailer. Check out the pig. Hey, you like that pig pen? <laughs> that pig don't want to go. It says no. Here's these little old goats they got here. <laughs> the technician. You're the lady technician. Uh, it's a nice setup here. This is nice pins and all. Very nice. What's that? That's galvanized pipe. Everything's built to last. Yeah. How long has this been here? Uh, last year. Last year. I knew we didn't see it before. I thought it. I thought it looked. Very nice. Good setup. Yeah, nice day today. The air is good. Muddy, but the air is good. <laughs> that pig don't want to go. So I'm here talking to Snorkel, you know, like snorkeling in the water, but he said it's that really. it's spelt a little different, but it sounds the same. And I'm asking him about their nice little auction setup they have here, their their cell barn. It's not really an auction. And uh, he said this is about a year old. I'm really impressed with how well this is all built and set up. Very, very nice. And uh, he said they hold the cell on Fridays and that uh, most of the people will bring their livestock on Thursday. And then they'll have buyers here or middlemen that'll buy this and take it on the market to slaughter. It's pretty cool, I like it. I think I'm gonna come here when it's going on. I wanna see it all. I'm really happy to see this place. So we're gonna get back on the road and on to the market. I like, I like your wings. You like my like Yeah. Check, check it out. I told him check out our Texas Filipino so he can see my big black Angus cattle that look like they're Carabao here. <laughs> Texas, Dallas, Texas. Land of the cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I'm cattle farmer also. Yeah, just look that up. Texas Filipino. Yeah, banana farm. Yeah, we have a farm. Yeah, we farm there and raise black Angus cattle. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. No camera 360 though. Sorry, no luck. <laughs> no camera 360. They're gonna see the real you. Yeah, real, real Unedited. <laughs> well, we're gonna get on. I thank you all. I'll come see you again. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh, thank you, Paul.